Oh, it's humid out there. A couple of us are getting rain. A lot of us are not seeing the rain fall out there today. You can see all these showers are streaming in off the Gulf of Mexico with all that tropical moisture. So fewer of us today are seeing the rain than yesterday, but we can still see a few pockets where that rain is heavy with how humid things are outside. We travel east along I-20. You see a couple of those showers are locally heavy near Greensboro. Traveling south of the city from Union City down into Noonan and Peachtree City area. A couple more little isolated showers. And then up to the north of 85, another little shower there right over Banks County, just north of Homer, and that's traveling north up into Stevens County near Tacoa. It's 90 in Atlanta today, despite the cloud cover, and it's really humid. So what that's doing is it's pushed our feels like temperature up to 95 degrees outside right now. And across the metro area, we see a lot of these temperatures teetering on the edge of 90 degrees, but you add the humidity in those feels like temperatures. The heat index values are up in the mid and upper 90s, and that's where we're going to stay over the weekend. Over the weekend, the humidity is sticking with us. Look at the moisture map, which shows it really well. As we go into Saturday and Sunday, more of those orange colors blossoming on the map. That's that really tropical air mass in place. This doesn't just make it feel humid outside. It also means that both Saturday and Sunday, we have a chance of more pop-up showers and thunderstorms. We don't expect this weekend to be a washout, but if you're trying to make outdoor plans, the driest parts of both days will likely be first thing in the morning. There might be some fog out there you'll have to contend with, but we should see the better chance of rain pulling in both Saturday and Sunday in the afternoons and evenings. And that's what forecast track shows this evening. An isolated shower still possible. That includes right around the time of the Braves game this evening as well at Truist Park with that 721st pitch. We'll see these showers fading away overnight. Little fog forms in the aftermath tomorrow morning with cloud cover. And then by the time we get towards noon and throughout the afternoon, scattered showers hours and thunderstorms develop. We don't expect widespread severe weather, but they could turn locally intense at any point this weekend with heavy rainfall, some lightning and even some gusty winds. So over the weekend, hot and humid both days. Some of us get rain. A lot of us do not. And that's what this rain forecast shows you all the way through tomorrow night. See how some areas on the map see the blue, the purple colors. Those are rainfall amounts that are maybe one to two inches, but a lot of spots see nothing. So that's what we'll be tracking over the weekend. Now in the tropics, I want to bring this to your attention. We've got three areas we're watching, but I'm going to zoom into this little red X on the map. This is called Invest 95 L. The Hurricane Center will begin issuing advisories on this at five o'clock today. This is going to become our next tropical depression and eventually named storm of the season. That name is going to be Barrel. Here's your seven day forecast. Feeling like 100 both days this weekend in the afternoons. Highs will be in the 90s with a 40% chance of showers and storms. We'll keep that heat going through next week as we bring in the 4th of July holiday next Thursday. Crash.